Hi church family, I'm Elizabeth West and I want to share with you something that um, I felt like the Lord was talking to me about this morning when I was spending my devotional time with Him. Um, I was reading in John chapter 16 in the New Living Translation and I, come across, I came across this verse, um, verse 30, it says, the disciples are talking to Jesus and it says, now we understand that you know everything and there's no need to question you from this we believe that you came from God and um, this whole section in John is all read pretty much it's a very long discourse about uh, with Jesus just talking and he's just ministering to his disciples and he's teaching them he's getting ready to go um, back to heaven and so he's giving them some you know uh, important instructions for how they're supposed to live after he leaves and goes back up and so I love how after all this time that Jesus has been spending intimately and intentionally teaching and discipling his believers that um, they finally come to the conclusion that we finally understand that you know everything Jesus <laughs> And that basically, like, we don't have to worry. We don't have to question you. We don't have to know everything as long as we know you and we know that you know everything. And it reminded me of Matthew 11. And I'll just flip over there and read to you out of um, verses 28 through 30. Jesus is talking again. And he says, Come to me, all of you who are weary and carry heavy burdens, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you. Let me teach you. Because I am humble and gentle at heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy to bear, and my burden that I give you is light. Again, he's telling his disciples, learn from me. Come to me. How can we learn from him if we won't take intentional time every day to pray and to spend time in his word getting to know him? If we want to know what the Father is like, we look at the example of Jesus here on earth. And it's written down for us. And we're, we're just so blessed to have all these words. And he says, just come to me. I know that a lot of you are weary. I've been, I've become weary my own self in this season and this, all the questions and we don't know what we're supposed to do or how are we supposed to manage. And it can get very overwhelming and very burdensome. And so I intentionally have had to make more time to spend alone with Jesus. I mean, I really will just go lock myself in a room for about 30 minutes or so so I can pray alone and everyone knows not to bother me. <laughs> Um, they need, my family needs me to spend more time with him. And so I encourage you to do that. The more you grow closer to Jesus, the more you can be like the disciples who said, we know now that you know everything, Jesus, and we don't have to question because we trust you. And so let's just pray together. Father, in Jesus name, I lift up everyone watching this video, God. I know that it's your heart for them to have rest right now and to have that soul rest that you talk about in Matthew 11. And so, Father, in Jesus' name, oh, I just pray and speak your rest and your peace over all the listeners and all those who are joining in on these 21 days of prayer and fasting. Father, I pray that as they get closer to you and as they become, um, as they start spending more and more time with you, that they'll just become more and more at ease and more and more at rest, knowing they can count on you and that everything else may seem chaotic and, and uncertain and we just want to run away from it, but we know we can trust you. And as long as you're with us and always beside us, we know we can walk through anything and come out victorious on the other side. I thank you for it. And I'm reminded of your words at the end of Matthew 16, where you say, There are a lot of troubles in this world, but to take heart, because you have overca overcame them all. 
Thank you for overcoming them all for us, Jesus. We lean and rest in you. Amen.